The Clone Drone 1.4 update introduces a few new level editor features. You can now search the object library. No more scrolling through this huge list and searching individual folders to find what you need. You can now undo and redo things in the level editor. I just made these blocks, and I can undo them or redo them. This also works in the animation editor. You could always press H to hide objects. However, you had to press H again to unhide objects. This meant you couldn't unhide objects when you had something selected. Now you can press U to unhide objects, while keeping your current objects still selected. You can press Ctrl X to cut objects. This copies the object, and it deletes it. This is a quicker way to delete objects instead of reaching over to the delete key and pressing confirm. You can now copy and paste the position and rotation of objects. This is very useful for aligning objects together at weird angles. For example, if I wanted to put a flame trap on this platform, it would be very difficult to line it up. But now you can press Ctrl C to copy an object, and then select a different object and press Ctrl G. It will move the position and rotation of the object you have selected to the object that you copied. So now this flame trap is perfectly aligned on this block. Here I'm quickly adding different hazards to this weirdly rotated platform. This is very useful when combined with Control X because you can quickly swap out objects. For example, I can quickly replace this jump pad with an angled jump pad. You can also paste the scale of objects. For example, if I wanted to change these pillars and use this dark pillar instead of the light pillar, select a pillar and press Control X to cut it, and then select my new pillar and press Control Shift G to paste the position, rotation, and scale of the object. You can do this really quickly by pressing Control X and then selecting your other object, pressing Control D to duplicate it, and Control Shift G to move it to the new position. Doing this allows you to very quickly replace objects inside your level. There are a couple minor changes too. If you have an object selected and you rotate it, you can hold shift to snap the rotation angle. We had this functionality before, but the rotation angle has been changed to 15 degrees. There is a new red jump pad skin. This can be used to signify that the jump pad is a hazard. For example, you wouldn't want to take this jump pad because it would send you into the lava. There's a new option to stop conveyor belts after the level has been defeated, and there is a new arena trigger entity. This trigger can activate when the arena level is over. This is very useful for doing things like opening a door after you beat the level. In the future, this entity might get expanded to support more arena events. Finally, the last update makes moving your camera a lot easier. You can press F to move your camera, to wherever your cursor is, and if you have an object selected, you can press Shift F to move your camera to that object. But if you were working on a big level, and you were working on something very far away, sometimes it can be hard to get your camera all the way back to the start. Now you can press Control F, reset your camera to the middle of the level. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed these new level editor changes.